sehen wir, glaube ich, noch mal an das andere Fenster. Und noch einmal Deutschland. Like a, like a fire, like a, a blazing fire, the news spreading across Germany. Adolf Hitler, Chancellor of the Reich. A million hearts burning up with joy. And we can see banners glowing blood red. And in the center of each one, the symbol of our hope. Crooked cross, the swastika, look at that. January the 30th, 1933. Nazi brown shirts salute their Fuhrer, their leader, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> His rise seemed the answer to many people's dreams. We will have a new Germany. And we can see thousands of blazing torches now streaming up the Wilhelmstrasse. Long columns of brown shirts, victors in a painful structure. The brown shirts were the foot soldiers of the Nazi movement. Years later, one of them, Fritz Mullerbach, described his memories of that extraordinary night. We were, I don't know, like just laughing, you know, we, we sang. We shouted Heil till we were hoarse. I mean, Adolf Hitler, leader of Germany. We couldn't believe it. When the news came through on the radio, we ran round to a meeting house and they got everything ready. I mean, they were handing out torches. And the best thing, when we marched, the police guarded our path. Like after so many years, the streets were finally ours. But not every German joined the brown shirts in their celebration that night. For they knew that now in power, the Nazis would allow no opposition. And all those that stood against them, Hitler had promised to destroy. Our enemies say we Nazis are intolerant, that we are somehow un-German because we refuse to cooperate with other political parties. I want to make one thing quite clear. They're right. We are intolerant. And I have set myself one task, namely to drive those other parties out of Germany. Hitler's rise to power would cause death and suffering on a scale rarely seen in history. Yet on January the 30th, 1933, many millions of Germans welcomed Adolf Hitler as their savior. Why? Three years earlier, 1930, Fritz Mullerbach returns to the northern dock town of Hamburg after a spell at sea and finds Germany in a terrible state. There was no work to be had. Germany, the worst hit country in a worldwide depression. In the streets, chaos and the police unable to keep order. From every direction, parties promised they had the solution. Communist, Social Democrat, Nazi. 35 parties in all. But right from the start, it was Hitler's Nazis that caught Fritz Mullerbach's eye. They were like, smarter than the other parties. The Communist, Social Democrats. I mean, the Nazis had uniforms, and their boots were like jackboots, always shining. It's impressive. And then, one night, I'm down the docks, and I say, this fight, well, this fella getting beaten up. So I goes in to help him, gets myself a torn ear. It turns out he's this brown shirt. He says, uh, why don't you come along, you know, to a meeting? That was how I got started. <laughs> 
Over the next few months, Fritz went to many Nazi party meetings. He heard speakers, he watched slideshows, he read pamphlets. And he shared a room with the brown shirt he'd rescued. From Werther, he learned why, according to the Nazis, Germany was in such a mess. He learned how, according to the Nazis, Germany would recover. Hey, I've got something for you. Have you ever read the Bible? The Bible? Uh, no. Well, you should. Here. My Struggle. Yeah, My Struggle. By Adolf Hitler. Well, it's my Bible anyway. 1924, Landsberg Prison, he wrote that. They locked him up for speaking the truth. Can you believe that? And in prison, he writes this. And now, I give it to you. So, enjoy. My struggle, Mein Kampf. It's a mishmash of autobiography and history and racist venom. It covers everything from Hitler's blind hatred of the Jews to his love of boxing. But like no other source, it explains the roots of Nazism. And it dates the decline of Germany from 1918, the surrender that ended the First World War. The German army will see first immediately and then surrender in good condition. 5,000 field guns, 25,000 machine guns, 3,000 trench mortars, 1,700 I'd never cried since the day I'd stood at my mother's grave, but now I couldn't help it. Was it all in vain, the deaths of two million heroes? I dug my burning head into my pillow and wept. Back home in Germany, revolution. The Kaiser, Germany's all-powerful ruler, had fled. In his place, democracy, politicians chosen by popular vote. For many soldiers defeated at the front, Hitler amongst them, it seemed this revolution back home had cost Germany the war. I mean, do you think the army couldn't have won that war? They were stabbed in the back. Stabbed in the back, right. Betrayed by cowards, politicians, Jews back home. They didn't care for our honor. And all the shame our country suffered since. The criminals of November 1918. It's them has caused it all. In 1919, these same so-called criminals signed the Versailles Peace Treaty on Germany's behalf. They accepted war guilt. They agreed to pay out vast sums for war damage, despite the desperate state of Germany's war-torn economy. When years of suffering followed, inflation, food shortages, hunger, many Germans were quick to point the finger of blame. The factory owners. Right, fat cats, bleeding the workers dry. We say no one earns more than 1,000 marks a month, no one. The Jews. Right, the old enemy. When they do something, they don't do it for Germany, do you see? They're not Germans. Who else? The parties. The parties. Politicians, right. What is this democracy? We never used to have democracy. We had strong leaders. The Kaiser, eh? We never voted for him. And was Germany ever so weak under the Kaiser? I spit on freedom. It's the patriotic thing to do. What was happening was like, I don't know, like fog, you know, clearing. And suddenly it all made sense. I mean, we'd never talked about politics when I was a kid. But Werther, well, they'd go on for hours. And it was all so right. You've got all these parties, and no one party's got enough votes to rule, yeah? So. They do deals. They're always selling out. Well, the Nazis, right from the start, they're saying that's not the German way. 
Right from the start, the Nazis wanted an end to democracy. They wanted all power back in the hands of one man, and that one man, they felt, should be Adolf Hitler. He drifted from the army to politics. He'd gathered support in the beer halls of Munich. But his time was not yet right. When 4,000 Nazi brown shirts rose in rebellion in November 1923, their weapons arrived without firing pins. Hitler was imprisoned, wrote Mein Kampf, and the first chapter of Nazi history was over.